Hello, welcome to Roulette Profit and Stop here on YouTube. I've updated my title screen now on my header on my YouTube channel to reflect what's on my website. Um, so I developed my own roulette tools with the help of my brother um, for gambling with and to try and make a few units of profit. On this, on this series, this new series that I'm starting now, I'm going to be looking to get any amount profit, first of all, from the first tool that I'm going to use. And then every time I get a profit, I have to beat the previous profit, whether it's by a one pence, two pence, five pence, ten pence, whatever it is. I've got to beat the previous amount of profit that I've made on the next time around. So um, I can have up to three session recordings in one day. And um, that'll be enough for me. So three recordings from the same casino, getting profit and increasing the profit, getting another profit and increasing the profit again to get another profit. Uh, basically increasing after every profit I make, trying to get more profit, but better in the last. So it's going to be called Previous Profit Progression. Yes, the three Ps. Previous Profit Progression. It's a bit of a tongue twister, but that's the, that's the setup I'm going to be using. Um, this is the, the sheet I'm going to be filling in. I've got £20.36. I've deposited 20 I have 36 pence left over. But uh, £20.36. I've got my target set to £1, but my target will be whatever... For the next round, it'll be whatever the, the value was that I got on this recording for this first session. It has to be a minimum of, minimum of that or greater. It has to be greater, actually. So, sets the standard. So, And you'll see the line graph being filled in as the numbers are, you know, increasing and I'm getting my profit. And you see the total return profit there as well. So, I'll be updating this end value once I've achieved profit. I'll bring you back to this sheet once I've achieved profit, hopefully. You'll be able to see me do that. And we can jump right in. Here we go. So I'm going to jump on a table. I'm going to play AWOL 69. This is the tool I'm using. You can gain access to any of the tools on my website, including free roulette tools at the bottom of the page on the website. There is a link in the description below. Uh, make sure you check that out. I'm going to change view to the immersive view because this is much better view. You can see the wheel in action and you can see all the numbers. Right, so 10 pence stake, 20 pounds, 36 pence using the AWOL 69 roulette tool. So what does this tool do? This particular tool, um, we cross off numbers. We need to cross off 18 different numbers from the wheel. And then we look at what's left. And we're betting on the numbers that are left that fit the criteria of what the tool shows so click to play this is the criteria we'll look for three or more connected numbers that means three numbers in a row that I haven't yet hit and we're betting on a maximum of nine or a minimum of six so that means if we crossed off 18 unique numbers this is the unique number count here if we crossed off 18 then and then we see three numbers in a row and then another three numbers in a row and then another three numbers in a row that'll be nine then we could bet on those pockets of three numbers. Um, if it's three, three, um, and a two, let's say, so you could do the two threes, which is the six. Uh, you might have a run of four numbers that I haven't hit and a group of three, so that's seven, so you could cover the seven, or you could have two groups of four numbers that I haven't hit, which will be the eight, eight numbers. So that's the pretty much the scenario that you're looking for to place a bet. Now, to speed this process up, what you could do is boot up the uh, statistics and start from the line below. So go a line down halfway through, and we're going to start inputting from there. So 27, 34, 6, 11, 19. So 27, 34, 6, 11, 19. And then we've got 28, 8, and... 18, so I'm at the top line now, 11, 13, 5, 10, 5, 10, that's where I'm up to, 18, 11, 13, 5, 10, so 2, 34, 6, 10, 2, 34, 6, and 10, 
4, 17, 24, 4, 17, 24. Right, I've caught up. I've input 15 numbers. This is the faster way of getting to where you want to be, to be fair. Because I only need to cross off three more numbers. Then I can look at the betting uh, setup. <clears throat> 23. So 23, that's another number I can cross off. So the ball is heading towards, I'd say, from 19 all the way down to 30, uh, 24. 19 to 24. If you wanted to do the range of numbers that's hitting, you could cover between the 19 through to 24 as a big bet, a one-off. Just get your hit and get out of there. You could do that. That is achievable. That's something you could do. You could work on that. So I'm looking to cross off two more numbers. At the minute, if I count what I can bet on, anything where you've got three numbers or more that hasn't hit. So we've got 16, 33, 1, 20, 14, 31, 9, and 22. So that's 1, 2, 3. Four, five, six, seven, eight numbers in a row there. That's a lot of numbers. I think number five. Um, eight numbers in a row that haven't hit. Then we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven numbers in a row here. So that's 15 numbers that haven't hit uh, that, have, uh, that are connected by three that haven't hit or greater. Now, I can't bet on the 30 because that's one on its own. I can't do the 36 because that's one on its own. can't do the 25 or the 21 because they're one on their own. And I can't do the 29, 7 because they're two together, which is less than three in a row that haven't hit. So we need to cross off a few more numbers. 35, that's one of the numbers. So click on that. That gets rid of the 12 now. So now I've got one, two, three, four, five numbers there. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight numbers there. So that's 13 numbers, which is a little over the maximum amount of numbers. Nine is the max, although this is kind of a guide. If you wanted to cover 10 or 11, then you could do that. So this is just a guide of what I do. On this AWOL 6-9 roulette tool. Number 26, that's another number I can get rid of. That's fantastic. 26, bosh. Can I place a bet? I've got to 18 now. So there's three there. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's 11 numbers there. I'm going to place a bet. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So if I do 20 with three either side, if it doesn't hit 20. Eight. Now I've got 11 numbers I can bet on here. I've got to a value of 18, which is my... A trigger to start placing bets if that criteria is maxed. I'm going to be covering two numbers greater than what I need. Although 31 has just landed, so that gets rid of some numbers. So that helps me massively. So now I'm going to be within the range. So 1 and 32. There we go. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 numbers covered. So that falls within... The minimum and the maximum, six, seven, eight, or nine numbers. I've got eight numbers covered. I'm on numbers one with two pockets either side and 32 with two pockets, with one pocket either side. This is my first bet for profit. So this is going to set my standard. This is going to set the first target. Number six, that is a miss. So click number six, repeat the bet. Place your bets. This is now my second bet. Now I'm placing it a bet at 80 pence. I can give this four bets without increasing the stake and still getting to profit. I can do a flat rate for four bets, no bets please. and without having to double up on the fifth. Uh, well, without, without having to double up on the fourth, I have to do it on the fifth. So this is my second bet for profit, looking for one neighbour, a 32 neighbour. Number 11. Okay. That's a miss. So this is now my third bet coming up. So I'll repeat the bet. Same stake. Another eight, 80 pence. So £2.40 I'm in for now. £2.40. I want to get a minimum of a minimum of one pound profit on my first target. No more bets, please. I've been recording for nine minutes. So this is my first video I'm going to be putting up. And I'll do up to three sessions in one day. This is my first of the sessions. So we're looking for one or 32. Anywhere near one, anywhere near 32. 
Number six again. Right, this is my fourth bet. Again, it's a repeat. Same stake. I can still get into profit briefly, slightly, if I hit now at this level of stake. <clears throat> In fact, no, this is a double up. This is a double up. I had to double up then. This is actually a double up, the fourth bet. And every time I lose from this position, I just add another chip. I repeat the bet and add a chip. That's what I do now. So 132. Eight. Number eight. Black. Is that a fresh note? So I repeat the bet. Please place your bets. Then add another number to each of these. Add another chip to each of those. So we're looking for one hit that gets me above twenty pounds and thirty six pence. So far, I've spent uh, well, I'm down at thirteen ninety six. I only need, I only need, I'm only searching for one hit. That's it. If I get the one hit, I'll be in profit, and then I can update the end balance. Normally, this will take less than five spins to get my hit when I'm when it's playing and paying. So one thirty two. Let's go. Boom. There you go. There's my hit. That puts me in profit. So I've got 24.76, right? 24.76. Number 15 just landed. Bosh. That's that one. I've just used the AWOL 69 roulette tool. I'm going to bring it up the sheet. And I'm going to input my new balance of 24.76. Just to show you how much I've made. So my next target for profit is going to be £4.40. So what I'll do is I'll put this uh, down here like that. Ten I'll put, black. Just let me set this up. Please place your bets. Oh, yeah. For me as well. Cross out that. So my target is four pounds forty bets minimum. Closing. Right. And yeah, we'll see how we get on. So it goes to zero because it's no not, it's, so it's just collecting that data. Um, if I get out of it like that, it won't do it. No, I'll do it. So when I come back later to do session recording number two or three, um, my, my target is to get four pounds forty, which is a tough task already. And every time I get a target that beats the previous profit, uh, well, that's just going to go up exponentially. It's just going to go ridiculous that profit target, uh, probably. So I've got to keep cool. I've got to keep cool and just. I've got to play it cool here because I've got to work out which tool's no best for that type of return, £4.40. And I've also got to work out whether I want to get it in one hit or a multiple values of, of, of wins to get that target. Um, how I want to spin that out, basically. How best to do it. Slowly build it or try and get it in the one hit. Um, but you'll see what happens and how it goes um, the further in that I get. But I'm just sticking to the same casino. It's William Hill Casino that I'm playing at. So I'm just going to be using that. If I get any free spins, by the way, uh, on this casino, which I will from day to day, I will... That'll come off what I need to make because it makes my job easier then. So I'll deduct that from the profit I'm looking to make, I think. I might change that as I progress, but anyway, we'll see how we get on. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to hit subscribe, give it a thumbs up, and I shall see you all again later today. See you soon.